face the final frontier. This is really the world where I see that uh, the young generation can do a lot by uh, having new ideas, disruptive ideas, being fascinated by what is possible in space. This is then not only something for the individual, but it paves the way for our society. What would you recommend? Where to start? I would recommend the young people, first of all, to go through a clear education, not to think, okay, I'm now uh, 12 years old, I know everything. Uh, no, you need a, a sound education, whatever it is, engineering, uh, math, um, or natural science, this is a good basis, but also other fields. So we have also uh, people who studied politics, psychologists, all of this uh, can uh, have a role in space. And so I would recommend, first of all, to have a, to have a development, an educational development, fit, fitting to the per personal interest and the personal competence. And then look into the world which type of uh, activities uh, one would like to do, whether it's in space or in other areas, uh, that doesn't matter. But again, space is very broad. We need experts from each and every field. Can they uh, build the spacecraft? There are now some uh, very small uh, activities worldwide where students or young people are coming together and building really spacecrafts uh, also to go to moon and fur uh, further on. So there is no limit. Of course, the question is always the finances uh, and I would not start with a spacecraft to go to Mars. Uh, I would uh, recommend to go with some tiny, smaller programs, for instance with CubeSats, and there are some initiatives here in Estonia, very successful initiatives, and I think this is the right way. Thank you. Thank okay. you.